Good afternoon. I'm Hong Wei, the president of Sinwell Consulting. Hi, everyone. I'm the CEO of Sinwell Consulting. I'm Yibing San. Our venture will provide food and nutrition service for residential senior living market in China. Senior living industry in China is growing fast. The market is more regulated than before, with supporting policies from government and a huge capital flow from investors. In 2017, the public-private partnership investment rose to $30 billion from a level of $20 billion in 2015. Currently, the, the real estate developer plays a central role in the market, but they put more, more efforts in housing than carrying service. They need to fill the service gap to meet the diverse needs of the elderly and improve their performance. According to a 2016 report of Deloitte, very few of them are making money. So the operators, they compared to the Compared to their peers in the major market, the operators in China have less industrial experience. They have been forming, forming joint ventures with Western companies like Mario Gardens from America to bring the best practice into China. They are looking for the quality elderly care options to snap out. Yibing and I were inspired by the higher quality of service and technology adoption in hotel industry, especially the point of sale system in restaurant world. We hope to provide the solutions alike for our customers in their dining service. Our customers can complete their meal planning by just moving their fingers around. Our system is embedded with two databases. One is a personalized nutrition. We collaborate with the Division of Nutrition Science in Cornell to design the up-to-date database. Also, as our customer grow, the proven evidence from big data analytics can be fed back into the system. By mapping this database with recent health indicators, our customer can obtain nutrition profile for each resident, guiding what and how much they better to eat. The other one is the menu design system. It will, be it will be designed by the top chefs from local restaurant for a seasonal, regional, and nice menu and a general nutritional guideline. We want to remove the overcooked, less attractive elderly food off the table. Each module in our solution can function standalone and they can plug and play together. Customers have flexibility to choose within our product portfolio based on their, base, based on their own business schedule. What our customers will see is a product that connects front of house and back of house operations. They will be able to assist residents to plan their meals through internet access, platform, uh, um, smartphone pla uh, smartphones, and tablets. It will also prioritize residents' pr uh, personal preferences while still shows a pop-up reminder when the selection deviates from the nutritional guidelines. Um, once the menu planning is done, a purchasing list will be automatically formulated and an interface will be provided to the caregiver to record and track the actual food intake of the resident. The management will have access to a summary report of those data to engage family support and um, bring in necessary medical intervention. And these data will also help management to improve, uh, to, to analyze how their business performance improve over time. And we strive for our customer success. A, a study shows that 20% waste in food occurs in kitchen, delivery, and leftovers. With our solution, our customers will be able to forecast food demand more accurately and reduce food waste to 10%. Um, as our solution streamlines the menu planning and uh, inventory management system, um, it, uh, the reports it generates also help the communities improve its operational efficiency. Um, a delicious and a nutritious meal is also a huge driver for, for customers, for residents' satisfaction and we anticipate the satisfaction 
would drive up the res uh, our customers' revenue in the long run. For marketing strategy, we'll proactively reach out to our customers, know what their pain points are, and uh, tailor the solutions to fix their issues step by step. Uh, in addition to that, we'll also distribute brochures, go to um, uh, industry forums to share our successful practices uh, in order to raise public attention. As an alternative, we'll seek partnership with government-sponsored pro uh, government programs to uh, achieve higher market penetration. As China's senior living is still at its preliminary stage, We'll try to uh, deliver educative sessions to the general public um, to get buy-ins from all stakeholders, not only the customers, but also the residents and their families. China's senior living uh, market is growing fast. Um, the, beds is, uh, the number of beds is increasing at 10%. At 10% and is expected to reach 7.5 million by the end of 2020. As the, um, as the product requires that senior living facilities have basic IT infrastructure to support the uh, software, our primary market will be mid to high end senior living facilities. Um, considering uh, that's about 20% of our total supply. And considering the availability of technology and human resource, we'll primarily, uh, we'll initially start at um, first to second tier urban markets. Um, and we expect to achieve market share of 5% in five years. Our pricing strategy is based on the identifiable and repeatable cost savings for customers. We did several interviews with senior living operators. They'd like to share a portion of their savings with us for the improved operations and quality. Based on the current individual food cost level, we can help customers save $20 per resident per month. So we want to get, one, get a half from it. We are going to charge $10 for monthly subscription. Based on our sales projection, we target to acquire 2,000 residents at first. Then sales will ramp up in the following 30 months. After sales stabilize, the expected revenue is, will achieve over $2 million with a profit margin of 33%. Based on this financial projection, we need 280,000 to launch our venture. Our family will support us 80,000 to provide to, to, to develop the light version of the product. So we are seeking for another 200,000 to complete the product and future marketing activities. The development will kick off in this July, and we are working with a nonprofit senior living home in China for a pilot to prove our concept and redefine, and refine the product and user interface. With this showcase, our, market, uh, our product is going to market in 2019, and sales will have a rapid uh, growth stage through 2029. In five years, our venture will grow into a business value at 2 million, given a 50% return rate. Uh, our sensitivity analysis shows that the price, initial customer base, and the, and the sales growth rate will largely impact our profitability. In order to uh, make up the mismatch of our projection and the uh, actual sales, um, um, we'll, we, we may shift our product's uh, scope to um, uh, pro product usage to individual customer markets, or we may target uh, hospitals to help them solve their nutritional and dietary concerns. And also, uh, and lastly, we'll um, shift a product scope to uh, lastly, we, may sh we might shift our product scope to, uh, to accommodate wellness and 
medication administration in senior living market. Okay, thank you for your attention. We welcome to your questions. Can you just take us through, if I'm living in one of these um, senior facilities, how the whole process works in terms of ordering your, your food and your meal on a daily basis? Uh, I want to uh, repeat your question is how, the, uh, how we will deploy the system in the customer side. So how does it work for the resident that's living in the senior living facility in terms of ordering their meals on a regular basis? Uh, uh, you, with our solutions, uh, either the operator, the staff from the operators can uh, use a drop-down menu to order on a daily basis or on a weekly basis. In, in the background, we have the nutritional guideline for each resident. So in case the, the, the meal ordering is, deviation, is deviated from the nutrition guideline, uh, a message will pop up to remind there is a violation, but we still put the resident, uh, sorry, resident preference over the nutritional food because we want to make them happy. Sure. Yeah. So if you have 400 residents, you could arguably have 400 different meals for that meal period, customized to each resident? Uh, we are going to partner with the local restaurant. We will provide a general, uh, general whole diet, diet menu. And within this menu, we can choose uh, between different options. Yeah, I had a question. From what I've read and researched, loneliness, loneliness is actually one of the greatest concerns for the senior, senior care facilities or senior population. And how does your plan take that into consideration? I think we need to bear into mind that for these centers to be successful, we need a high rate of happiness. And so I'm not sure by, you know, from what I've seen today, how you're really addressing the issue of loneliness, which is one of the greatest killers of this generation. Uh, well, so, uh, I, I want to uh, brief a little ab about, about Chinese senior living status. Sure. Uh, currently, our sales are lags a little behind, so uh, they have almost uh, buffet meals and uh, almost no involvement about their health and nutrition. So uh, we want to make them eat healthy and happy meals. And, uh, and we also want to involve the family engagement about their meal's choice. I don't know whether I have addressed your questions. I think that's good for now, thank you. Okay, thank you. Hi there. Um, I think you're, you've hit on a really important problem that's facing not just China, but the whole world, and I, I'm, I really admire what you're attempting to do. Um, my question is that you've identified that right now the senior living programs in China are in their preliminary stages. So with that in mind and understanding that your concept dictates that the operator will be working from either a tablet or a phone, what kind of training are you going to have in place for these people so that operationally it's easy for them? Uh, Yes, uh, the occupancy rate and the operation inefficiency is a huge, uh, are the huge challenge for our operators. So uh, we provide the flexible solutions. Our operator can choose uh, front of house modules and back of house modules. For the front of house, we, we are going to uh, train the first line staff from the kitchen and caregivers to uh, penetrate the technology department in the, in the senior living. And for the back, back, back of house part, uh, actually the chef, in, the chef in, in the senior living dining is maybe a big obstacle for us to, to promote our product. So we allow their in-house menu can uh, work together with our nutrition guideline. And, can be embedded in this uh, ho in the whole system and service. Hi, um, 
she, she's right. This is a huge problem. I have a 94-year-old mother who is in a, a, a act, you know, active living center. She's not that active, but the biggest complaint is always the food. Everybody's always unhappy about the food. Um, you're, you're, and uh, so if you can solve that problem, customizing nutritionally balanced food for people, that, that, that's number one. You're solving a lot of problems here. You're, you're trying to solve food cost and menu development and third party uh, food delivery. Uh, you, there's just too much in this plan. And I think uh, I would feel better if well, this plan was presented as this is the top priority, second priority, third priority. And if you actually go through with this, you may want to see if you can get grants from the Chinese government because you're solving, you're part of a solution of a very, very big um, you know, opportunity. So if you had to pick one thing out of these five things you're going to be doing here, what would it be? Uh, our first, our first uh, priority for the customer is uh, cost saving. The second priority is uh, quality uh, improvement. And from the users of our customer, we want to keep them healthy and happy. Uh, can I add on a little bit? Is that? Uh, Considering the current situation of market, we don't want to uh, produce an extra cost for, for our customer. We want to save money for them. So it's, an, it's more easier for us to be accepted by the market. Yeah, it makes sense. That gets back to who you're marketing to. Are you marketing to the operator? Are you marketing to the actual resident? Uh, we are targeting the C-suite of the operators. I also think that um, I'm assuming you're going to go forward no matter what, and I love that. And when you go forward, I think you should look um, for partnerships because I do think you're biting off a lot of different things at once, um, but I think you're bringing a lot of opportunity also to others. So if you partner um, Chinese government, but there may be some other partnerships available out there for you that will help to move this um, plan forward faster. I want to uh, confirm uh, your question is about the partnership with a local restaurant. It wasn't really a question. I just think you should think about partnerships in order to move forward faster. Yeah. We'll, we'll definitely consider that like, as we move on. Like, um, or if this model doesn't work out, we'll definitely break it down. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you.